that information was once scarce. So if you could get your hands on a book, you would read it because there was nothing else. And now information is abundant. We are flooded by information and much of it is junk information, which is artificially full of greed and anger and fear because of this battle for attention. Mm. Um, and it's not good for us. So we basically need to go on an information diet that, uh, again, the first step is to realize that it's not the case that more information is always good for us. We need a limited amount and we actually need more time to digest the information. And we have to be, of, of course, also careful about the quality of what we take in because, uh, again, of the abundance of, of junk information. And the, the basic misconception, I think, is this link between information and truth. That people think, okay, if I get a lot of information, this is the raw material of truth, and I more information will mean more knowledge. And that's not the case, because even in nature, most information is not about the truth. The basic function of information in history, and also in biology, is to connect. Information is connection. And when you look at history, you see that very often the easiest way to connect people is not with the truth, because the truth is a, is a costly and, and, and rare kind of information.